Hi and welcome back everybody. After a long time not working on the plane, we went from this to this in 100 hours on my TSI. So we started with the final check before closing the skin. Uh, there are some areas which you will not reach anymore, so you have to check if everything is okay. We aligned the skin uh, on the wing and started with the rivets on the main spar, followed of course by the, the rivets on the, on the rear spar. This is how you do it, you align it with the rivets and with a lot of clickers and then you do the, the main spar and the rear spar first so you have fixed the skin on the wings. The next is the all the all the ribs, did a random order on the ribs so the inner one and then the outer ones and then one in the middle and at the last we made the, the stringers so it's really cool working together if you if you have help my dad um, made all the works with the clicos and the rivets and I only had to shoot all the rivets so the first skin came out quite well as you can see there's no no bubbles and no 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 bumps in the wings it came out really nice the next step is the inner skin this is the part where you will step on uh, there are uh, five ribs underneath so you can step on on this skin so this has to be really really strong same procedure uh, aligning everything with rivets and with clickers and then uh, starting riveting with the main spar and then the rear spar it's an easy going straightforward job so no problem at all at this stage we made a um, little mistake here there was one rivet not really pulled correct so i had to drill that out but the inner part of the rivet fell of course into the wing and it took us half an hour to get this rivet out again and also this part came out really nice so everything okay here the next step was the rear edge of the wing so you have to shorten the rivets here. Uh, these are 110 rivets you have to, to shorten. You have to take out the mandrel and uh, shorten the rivet and put the mandrel back in because this is a really tight fit here for the flaps and the ailerons so that they don't scratch here on the rivets. You have to shorten them. Next was installing the landing light and taxi light. Of course, we have uh, tested the electric connections then we installed the nose skin you have to bend this skin quite hard it gets delivered with a 90 degree angle and you have to bend it over the ribs so you have to take care not to to break anything at this stage the next is the the winglet you have to align the winglet and drill all the holes you have to take really care of, of aligning the ringlet correct and some rivets you have to countersink and for stre to strength up the holes we put some uh, metal to the inside with epoxy so that the rivets can hold on. A little tip here for countersinking those rivets you can use the, the Clico tool you just use the dimple ties and the Clico tool and it's really easy to make those dimples it's really easy to do that and also to find the holes we made this little sheet of metal and uh, copied the holes from the rib and so you can find the holes easy we also installed the position light and the strobe light of course tested everything before installing this uh, aligned everything correct and installed 
the light. The next is aligning the flaps and the ailerons as we did on the right wing we used the laser. You need those two edges to align the, the laser in a correct way. You can also do it with some kind of rope or something like that but I used the laser it's it's easier and you align the flap to the, the laser and then you lower the flap and you shoot the first rivet in the middle. Then you align it again and do the next two rivets to the to the side. As you can see, it's always the same, lowering the flap, shooting two rivets, getting up again, check the alignment, lower the flap again, check the alignment, and after six times or something like that, you can shoot the rest of the of the rivets on the front side. We also did the same with the ailerons, also the same process, checking the alignment, shooting one rivet, checking the alignment, shooting the next rivets. So we had to match drill a little bit at this stage, but not really a lot. And as you can see, the result is a really, really strange rear edge of the wing. This is really important that the flaps and the ailerons are completely straightened out with the, with the wing. Uh, as you know, I have ordered the fuel tank made by the factory, so this is a little bit another color. I made the pressure test like I made the video, and you can see it's a little stress on the on the tank. You can see this is when the air goes out, the tank flattens out again, so you get little bumps because of the air pressure inside. So you have to align, we have lined the, the tank. It took a little bit of, of pressure to get it on and we made a second pressure test when the tank was installed. In the meantime, I filled up the rivets with epoxy. Uh, all the rivets have a little hole inside um, and you have to fill those holes with epoxy for a nice uh, airflow over the wings. Uh, filling up is not a big deal, but getting the rest of the epoxy down again is not not a fun part. Yeah, and then the wing was ready to get stored. So we have the, the first wing, the right wing, and we stored the left wing on the same wing stand I have made. So this is a job for more than two people to store the the wing correctly. We also installed the ailerons and the flaps again, so this part are now ready and they can wait to get painted. So in the build shop the wings are stored, so the, the fuselage is now in the middle of the build shop again, so you can see all the progress on the fuselage on the next videos on my TSI. Thanks for watching.